Welcome to our topic for today, which is density altitude calculations. Let's uh, begin with a glossary first. Altitude is the height above mean sea level. Pressure altitude is the height above the 1013.2 hectopascal pressure level. Density altitude is the pressure altitude corrected for temperature. Temperature, pressure. Lapse rate is the rate of temperature change with altitude. MSL is mean sea level. Elevation is the height of the ground above mean sea level. ISA, the International Standard Atmosphere, the temperature at sea level is 15 degrees C, the pressure is 1013.2 hectopascals, and the lapse rate is 2 degrees C per 1000 feet altitude. For our calculation, please remember the following notes. For simplicity, we will use the following. 1 degree C above ISA equals 120 feet gain in altitude. And 1013 hectopascals is used in place of 1013.2 hectopascals, which is the actual standard uh, pressure. And also note that these values may differ slightly from uh, those of a commercial calculator. Let's do our first calculation. To determine the density altitude, we'll assume a temperature of 20 degrees C at mean sea level. Remember the ISA standard temperature at mean sea level is 15 degrees C. The difference is 20 minus 15 C equals 5 degrees, and we times that by 120. Remembering, of course, that for every 1 degree C above ISA, we have to add 120 feet. Come up with 600 feet plus our elevation or altitude, which in this case is zero, being at mean sea level. And we end up with a density altitude of 600 feet. Right, we'll look at our next example. In this example, we'll introduce elevation into the calculation, and let's use 3,000 feet. Our lapse rate, 2 degrees C per 1,000. Remember, the lapse rate is the decrease in temperature as we gain altitude. To determine our temperature decrease, we divide our elevation by the lapse rate of 2 degrees per 1,000 feet. That equals 3,000 feet divided by 1,000 equals 3 times 2 degrees C, and we end up with 6 degrees C. So the total decrease over 3,000 feet is 6 degrees. Therefore, the ISA temperature at 3,000 feet will be 15 degrees C, which is the mean sea level standard temperature, minus 6 degrees C, and we end up with 9 degrees C. However, the actual temperature is 17 degrees C. The difference, once again, 17 minus 9 equals 8 degrees C. So, 8 degrees times 120 feet equals 960 feet, plus our elevation, 3,000 feet. The density altitude is 3,960 feet. Can you see the problem? You are at 3,000 feet above mean sea level, but the aircraft will perform as if you are at 4,000 feet. So in other words, your takeoff run will be longer due to the less dense air. We're going to go on to example three now, and in this example, we'll introduce a pressure altitude into the calculation. Remember, if you need to know how to calculate your pressure altitude, please refer to the Aeroflux tutorial number one. So to calculate our pressure altitude, we'll keep the elevation at 3,000 feet, and we'll assume a Q&H of 997 hectopascals. Remember, the QNH is a pressure value which is used to measure our height above mean sea level. So, our pressure altitude then is 1013 hectopascals, the standard ISA pressure, minus 997 hectopascals, equals 16, which we times by 30 feet. Remember, one hectopascal drop in pressure equals 30 foot gain in altitude. 
This equals 480 feet plus our elevation, 3,000 feet. And we end up with a total of 3,480 feet pressure altitude. And for simplicity's sake, we'll round that off to 3,500 feet. Next, we need to calculate the standard ISO temperature at 3,500 feet. Again, for every 1,000 foot gain, the temperature drops 2 degrees C. So the temperature decrease with altitude will be 3,500 feet divided by 1,000 equals 3.5 or 3.5 times 2 degrees C equals 7 degrees C. Therefore, the temperature decrease over 3,500 feet is 7 degrees C. Isa at 3,500 feet will therefore be 15 degrees C which is the, uh, the sea level standard, minus the 7, giving us 8 degrees C. However, the actual temperature is 17 degrees. The difference would be 17 minus 8, giving us 9 degrees C. So 9 degrees times 120 feet equals 1080 feet plus a pressure altitude of 3,500 feet and we get a density altitude of 4,580 feet. Right, please note that the uh, density altitude is over 1,500 foot higher than the actual elevation. So you need to be careful because although your aircraft is only at an elevation of 3,000 feet actual, it performs as if it's at 4,500 feet. Remember, too, to measure your actual temperature relative to ISA temperature to obtain your density altitude. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you with your calculations, and see you soon with the next one from Yeraflug.